So these are the 100% Armega goggles. These are really nice goggles. I actually pick them up for when I do dirt bike riding. Um, I, I tried using my mountain bike goggles for that and it just didn't work very well because those are too ventilated. They let too much in and I was getting dust in my eyes and that's just a whole nother problem. But uh, so that being said, I have used these for mountain biking and they are quite nice. The only problem I have is that they, they tend to be a little bit warmer than my mountain bike goggles for obvious reasons. Um, first off, they, these have a really unique design. So the goggle straps actually connect here on the edges rather than the actual goggle profile themselves. And what that does is it allows the goggle foam to actually make a better contact with your face and it doesn't pull up on the sides like you would with a normal goggle design. Um, secondly, they have these this uh, what they call the hyper lens technology, and you know I'm really particular about vision for myself. So my glasses have to be clean, my sunglasses have to be clean, my goggles have to be clean. I can't have smudgy smudgy stuff. It just bugs me. I, I fixate on it. It's one of those uh, pet peeves that some that I have. Um, so what's cool about these is that they're really clear. I I love these things when they're clean. I it's crystal clear looking through them. Um, I got the little red to blue kind of fade on the mirror. Uh, and the reason I did that is I like having contrast in the, the lenses. What that does is, you know, if you're out in the midday and you just everything looks the same, adds a little bit more contrast, a little bit color to everything, and you can differentiate stuff on the trail a lot better. Uh, the field of view on these is okay. They're not as good as my mountain bike goggles, but then again, my mountain bike goggles are the Smith squad mtb xls and you guys can see a video about those up here i haven't actually had to swap out the lenses on these but from my understanding is it's really easy to do so um i guess it's six points it's like here 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 i'm, I'm assuming you just kind of pop it out it, it pops right out and it's easy to replace you know if you're not into the nose guard you this is removable um i do like it for when i'm dirt bike riding which i mainly use these for but when I ride mountain bikes, sometimes I like to use these as well. I can really see myself using this, these this year at Snow Summit if I can get up there with everything that's going on. You know, this is being filmed in the, towards the mid June of uh, where COVID is still kind of a thing. So hopefully I'll be able to get up to Snow Summit and try these out. I can really see these excelling at a bike park, especially Snow Summit, which is local here. Well, two hours-ish local for me. Love living in the desert, right? Um, but uh, these will probably do really good up there just on the basis that they do keep a lot of the dust out and Snow Summit can be really dusty. You know, on a side note, this just has a really cool design. So let's try these things out. I've got my Fox Pro frame here. And these actually fit really well with the Fox Pro frame, even with the nose guard. So yeah, the goggles are the goggle straps are actually right here on the edges, and the actual goggles themselves are able to fit flush with my face, keeping a lot of the dirt and the dust out, which is really nice and important. 